guys feel about me wearing the exact same outfit because I just filmed a video before this. But here's my next video. <laughs> Today's video, we're going to be talking about these boots that I got from Australia for my recent trip. So, with the title, you might think, oh, what do you mean fake Uggs? And they do look like fake Uggs because it doesn't look like the Ugg logo that you usually see, right? So, here's the story. I was walking down this lane in Northbridge and I saw a bunch of shops that sold Uggs, right? But the logo looks nothing like it. Well, this logo over here. Look at this one and look at this one over here. It's nothing alike, right? So I walked in the store and I asked the lady, I was like, oh, like, are these like fake Uggs? Cause like, I think someone down the street just tried to sell me fake Uggs because on the Ugg shoe, it said genuine Uggs. And like, it didn't look like the logo that I'm used to seeing. So she was like, okay. So disclaimer, she said, basically, Ugg, like the word Ugg, U-G-G. I'm pretty sure a lot of people know this. Maybe we just didn't know, like my boyfriend and I. But apparently the word U-G-G means sheep skin boots. And Ugg is not a brand, but it's an actual word, like strawberry. You know, it's like an actual word. Hi guys, so I'm gonna talk over this part of the video because I wanna get the facts straight. So basically what happened is that this big company in um, America um, called Deckers, they bought, over the, they bought over the Australian trademark, which is the word UGG for their boot company, well, for their boot brand, which is the thing we know called UGG. And their boots are not Australian made. They are made in China or in Vietnam. And there's this whole thing going on because they are like suing UGG manufacturers in Australia for using the word UGG, you know, even though like UGG is literally, it, it literally means sheepskin footwear. So yeah, basically they were trying to monopolize something that's not even supposed to be monopolized in the first place. Yeah, I hope this explains it a bit. But yeah, so I got these shoes and this is how the end looks. It just says Oz. And I got it in US um, size seven. I think a lot of you probably would not be interested in watching this video because I know a lot of people who find like the, like Ugg boots just like a look. Um, I know I had an ex who thought that Uggs were disgusting, but anyways, we think he is disgusting. So. It was Brian. Brian thinks I'm this. Anyways, so so this is how the boot look, um, and it has this these tags on it that says that it's water resistant and that like congratulations on your purchase of our genuine Australian sheepskin footwear made in Australia. I'm going to try them on. There's like this tag that says like um, sheepskin products established 1972. Genuine sheepskin made and grown in Australia. Look at that tag. Can you see it? Is it even focusing? So this is how they look on me right now. Look at the boots. Oh, those are so cute. I can't wait to go to a cold country so that I can wear this with him. I orange cute clothes with my boyfriend. <laughs> I sound so dumb. Okay, but this is how they look on me. Aren't they so cute? Maybe you guys would like to defer. The video just stopped recording because um, my phone storage is full. I just realized I look really funny when I stand on my side. <laughs> because the pants are like funny. Okay, but anyways, I love these. I'm not the type of person that hates um, Uggs or Crocs. I love both. 
I, I don't get how people could hate these. I think that they're so adorable. Like, look at them. What, what, what is there not to love? Honey, look. Do you think they look cute right now? Look. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, that reminds me of the taxi driver we saw at Perth. He is so funny. <laughs> We met the funniest character in Perth that day. He's like this taxi driver. He's like Middle Eastern and he was just like, like, like his father was like trying to talk to like the driver constantly. And then the driver was just like, yeah, yeah. And then like his father was like, so how's business going? And then the guy was just like, quiet. <laughs> He's a funny guy. Bye. He's like one of those people who don't really want you to talk to them, but like some people just can't pick up cues or like they just don't care even though like clearly the other person doesn't want to talk to them. And so he's just like, yeah, yeah. He's like giving like one word answers and he sounds so grumpy. But yeah, love these boots. I love them so much. The only flaw that these boots have is that the fur keeps kind of coming out. Yeah. Oh, and the lady was telling me the good thing about these boots is that the band here is like, it's stretchy. So it's more comfortable. Yeah. Even though this design was actually stolen, like as in like the original Uggs, like it's not the original Uggs, but as in that Ugg company, sorry, that Ugg company, was the one who designed Uggs that look like this. But like, honestly, I choose this with the stolen design over that because this is actually quality. Right, anyways, this is my little short video on my Uggs. Sorry about the scraping sound at the back. Very, very noisy, by the way. Sorry about that. He's, he's trying to take off stickers from his MacBook. I'm sorry. Hopefully it doesn't disrupt the video too much. But yeah, I'll see you guys um, when I do. Bye.